lots of ammunition out there. How do you decide which one you want to shoot? Well, you base it by the weight of the bullet, obviously, but also accuracy. And you determine what your rifle likes best by sampling that ammunition. I like to do three shots with each type and then keep records. And that will tell me what my rifle is liking. Now, here's my target. I shoot over a chronograph and I get my groups and I measure those group sizes. But the critical part is using that information and writing it down in my little book here. It's my little black book. At my age, this is my little black book. But I've got my Winchester Model 70 and 30 out 6 and I've tried a deer season 150 grain load. I've got the high velocity, the low velocity, the average, and that helps me plot out my trajectory charts later. And there's my group size. And I use a, you can use a ruler, but I've been using these calipers. And you just measure the distance between the shot center to center. You can also go outside edge to outside edge like that. And this one is 0.8 inch. That's pretty darn good. So I try my next load, three shots with 150 grain ballistic silver tip. And the ballistic silver tip gave me those velocities and a group size even better, 0.648. That's under three quarters of an inch at 100 yards. That's really accurate. But what if I want a bullet that's going to fly a little bit farther, hit a little bit harder? That means you want a heavier bullet. So I tried 168 grain ballistic silver tip. I want to reach out a little bit more, that bullet's going to do it. How did it group? Well, not quite as well as the 150, but boy, that's a heck of a group itself right there. And I measured that one out at, I think, 1.3 inches. Yeah, that looks about right. 1.3. Let's look what I got down here on this one. 1.31 inch. Obviously, it's going a little bit slower. Now, if I really want to shoot big animals like elk and or I want to shoot long, long range and minimize my wind deflection, I want a much heavier bullet, and that's the 190. It's a combination of the weight of the bullet and its sleek shape. And what Winchester is doing with this Expedition Long Range and that 190 grain bullet is they're using the Acubond Long Range bullet, which is boat tailed, very sleek and sharply pointed, has a high ballistics coefficient. That means it is going to resist wind deflection, it's going to minimize drag from the air, and it's going to fly a lot farther downrange before it falls, loses its energy. That's what I want for long, long range shooting. It didn't group quite as well. I've got one flyer out here, but I think it's probably gonna tighten up if I shoot it a few more times. So I'm gonna experiment with that and shoot some five shy groups and just see how consistent it is. But that's the technique for determining how accurate your rifle is with each different type of ammunition.